So let's start by rolling the shoulders. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Big circles through the arms. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to bring the opposite direction. Four, three, two, and uh, one. Okay, drop the head. Big circle all the way around. You get to the front, change direction, bring it back. All the way around, all the way back. Three. Two, one. Okay, hands on the hips, feet shoulder apart. Big circle all the way around and all the way back. Okay, go for one more distraction. From there, let's bend the knees, hands on the knees, and little circles on our knees. Keeping our back straight as well. We're going to go one more retraction. And then we're standing back up, right onto the toe, a little circle. With our ankle all the way around, all the way back. Okay, change to the other Oh, one more distraction. Okay, let's start by bringing our feet a little bit wider than shoulder arc, with a bit apart. Take our toes pointing out, we're going to come side to side. So come and kind of lower into a squat each time, open up the inside of the hips, push out to the side and back. Just going as low as we can. We don't want to bend over as we do this, so if you get to a point where you're starting to go like this, just stay where you are, side to side, keeping it going. Four, bring it back up, three, two, and one. Okay, from there, we're gonna come down onto the mat. We're gonna come on the lengthways onto the mat, so onto the inside of our thighs. Feet are just, feet are directly below our knees, behind our knees, and we're just gonna rock back and forth. So we're actually on our muscles here, we're not on our knees. We're just again, we're opening up the inside of the hip, we're rocking back and forth, so it should look like this, our back should be straight, just coming as far as you can. And forward. And just coming back and slowly forward. And open up our hips as much as we can. Four, three, two, and one. From there, let's come around into our box position. So make sure there's a straight line from our shoulder to our wrist and from our knee to our hip. And we're gonna start by just spreading our hands out as much as we can. And we're just gonna rock open slightly and back. We're really trying to spread out those fingertips all the way over and back. You know, we want to open up our hands as much as we can, stretch the muscles in our hand. We're also stretching our wrist a little bit here. 
really focus on open those hands up, just coming as far as you can, and back. Four, three, two, uh, one. You're going to bring a sideways if you can. Also, if you want, you can stay in that position where you are now. But we're just going to go back and forth. So if you're not comfortable doing that, you can keep your hands forward. Just rocking across and back. Okay, and we're focusing on opening up our hands here. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, come up exactly. You can shake them out if you want to. We're going to come back into our box position. So, we're going to stay in that position. We're going to lift one leg up and bring our knee out to the side and back. So, the idea here is we're keeping our hips from rotating. We're just coming up as high as we can. Out and back. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to swap to the other side. So again, we're lifting just out as far as we can and back. Now we're trying not to rotate as much as possible. Just lift my knee out as high as we can and back. Four, three, Two and one. Okay, we're going to step one foot forward and we're going to push our heel towards the ground and just push back onto that a little bit, stretching our calf. Four. Three, two, one. Okay, let's walk to the other side. Yeah, and push that heel towards the ground. And then just push it back a little bit and come forward. Very lightly here. We're not trying to bounce through. We're not trying to go very aggressive. We're just slowly pushing back, stretching the calf a little bit more. Just coming forward again. Four, three, two, and one. And bring it back in. Okay, right, we're gonna lie on our side next. So you can make a little pillow with your arm. We're gonna bend our knees, stacking them on top of each other, and you're just gonna lift one up as high as you can without rotating back. And back. Lift up and back. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower. We're going to keep our calves in contact with each other here, or our ankles in contact with each other. Sorry, not our calves. We up size down without rotating back and slowly lower. Exhale, up, inhale, lower. Four, three, two, and one. Let's swap it over to the side. So we're flipping over. Again, we're going to lie. We're supporting our head with our hands, knees are bent, ankles stacked on top of each other, and we're just lifting up and lowering. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower. Really, again, we're trying to focus on our rotating. We're turning from here, using our hip muscles to bring ourselves up and slowly lower.
four, three, two, and one. Okay. We are going to lie on to our back. So I'm going to sit up just to show you what we're going to do. You guys be lying down in this. We're going to use our, our uh, rotator cuffs. So we're going to pull our shoulders back and down. Elbows are in by our side. And we're just going to let our arms fall to the floor and come back up. All and out and come back up. Just as far out as we can. Come back. So you guys do lying flat doing this. And our elbows are by our side, and we're just letting them go as far as they can. And back. If they don't touch the ground, that's all right. They do, great. All the way And back. Four, three, two, uh, one more. I'll do. Um, okay. You guys stay where you are. I'm going to sit up again to show you. You're going to bring your arms to shoulder right now. So you want a straight line from your shoulder to your elbow. And you're going to let your hands fall back and then bring them forward. As far back as you can and as far forward as you can. You may find with these well that you're not getting touch the ground on both sides. That's all right. I can't do it on the forward. So stay again, shoulders back and down. Hands go back and just as far forward as you can. And back. Again, with these, if they're not going the full way, you can actually just. Hold it there for a second, let it stretch a little bit. Let's grab me, bring it down. And then we bring it back again. Yeah, we're just letting that gravity bring into that stretch. And back. And back. Keep going, it's really nice. Again, hopefully you're starting to get a bit more movement going one or both ways. Again, you can just hold it for a couple of seconds, let gravity pull it down, and then back. And three, two, uh, one more. And down, okay. From there, I'm going to stretch out. So legs are out flat. You're going to bring one knee up. Opposite hand comes across body. Pull that across body just as far as you can. Just do a little twist and stretch like you're doing in our lower back. And then bring one hand out. So if you have it lower than shoulder height, you'll stretch your chest less. Higher at shoulder height, you'll stretch your chest a bit more. And if you go above shoulder height, it really stretch, and we want to look the direction our knees go, keeping that opposite shoulder on the floor. Yeah, I'm just going to relax here into this stretch. Four, three, two, one. Let it go, bring your own and extend. Off the knee comes up, come to the outside, put a hand, bring it across. And again, our opposite hand is going to go out either below at shoulder height or above shoulder height and keep that shoulder planted into the mat. Look in the direction our knee is going. And stretching those glutes, a lower back, a little bit of stretching lower back as well. Good 
four, three, two, one. And uh, bring it back around. We're going to bring our knees up into our chest. And we're just going to roll up and back a little bit. Put as much as you can, as much as comfortable for you. Just a little roll. Four, three, two, and come up if you can from there. If you need to sit up too, that's fine. We're going to bring one leg forward, uh, or legs forward in front of us, sorry. And we're going to bring one leg up into our inner thigh. So just to see better on this side. So into our inner thigh, we're going to sit up and we're just going to run our legs or our hands as far down the leg as we can, stretch out our hamstrings. We're trying to get our head as close to our knee as we can. As you're doing this, if you feel you can go a little bit further, reach a little bit further, do. And just breathing slowly, letting that muscle release. Don't force it. Three, two, one. Bring it up. I'm going to stop to the other side. So, knee comes, or leg comes into the inner thigh, foot comes into the inner thigh. We're going to inhale, and as we exhale, just fold as far as you can. You might find one side's harder than the other, that's okay, that's normal. If you can, inhale, exhale, bring a little further. Again, if you can, go a little bit further. If you can't, again, don't worry. Three, two, one, bring it up. We're going to keep our feet out in front of us here. And what we're going to do is we're going to point our toes and bring it back towards us. Just going to move a little bit through our ankles, point and back. This can help with moving clear through the ankles or up back up into the lymphatic system, up and drainage a little bit. So, this is great for moving, just moving the fluid that might gather at the bottom of the legs. I'm pushing it back up by pointing and and curling our toes. Curling, so we're doing, we're pointing anyway, we're bringing them back. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go out and back. So out as far as we can and back. And we're also doing a bit of movement to our ankles as well. That's it. Just kind of going up into our hip now. Should be moving the whole way through. Four, three, two, and one. From there, let's say sitting up. We're going to roll our shoulders back and down. I'm going to pull our shoulder blades back and squeeze them, pull them back and squeeze them. So you can see from right here, we're pulling back and squeeze, engaging our shoulder blades each time. Back. Back. Make sure you're pulling back, we're not bending our arms and pulling towards each other, we're going back and back. Engaging those muscles at the back of our shoulders. We're not going to rock with it either, keeping ourselves nice and still.
four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're going to bring our hands up over our head now. So if you're struggling to bring them up over our head, keep that legs out straight in front of us. You can still do the, the original we're doing, but we're going to pull them down and push them up. So pull them down and push them up. So we're moving our shoulders up and down. Again, we're not bending our arms to do this. We're going down, up, down, up. The movement's just through our shoulders. Four, three, two, and one. Again, shake it out, take a little breather. We're going to do both of them again. So we're going to start the row, we'll just give ourselves a little shake out before we do it. And then we're going to sit up, put our shoulders back, push forward. Push back, squeeze them together, and bring them forward. You know, those muscles that don't really like to work. Kind of take a little bit of a back seat. And four, three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out again. One more to go here, back up, go down, and up. Yeah, movement is your shoulder blades. Squeeze down, and up, down, and up. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, shake it out. We are going to come back over into our box position. So, we're going to start this position by rolling our shoulders, so all the way around and all the way back. Get as much moving through those shoulders as we can. Nice circles all the way around, all the way back. We want to get as much moving through this as we can. Four. Three, two, and one. Okay, next one from there, we're going to drop the head, tuck the hip, push it back up as much as we can, and slowly lower, come back and look it up. So, imagine a string in the middle of your back, pulling all the way up. Four, three, two, and one more. We're going to sit back onto the heels, pull our hands forward, do a little child pose. We'll walk our hands over the side. Bring back center. And move to the side. And back to center. Okay, we're going to come back up into that box position. We're going to go one leg forward, one leg back. You're going to pause. I'm going to stop it over. Try not to rotate as much as possible. Try and keep our body as square as we can as we do this. Pause for two seconds. Swap it over.
Again, we're keeping ourselves as square as possible as we do this. Go for four, three, two, and one. Okay, from there, let's pop our heat or onto the front of our thighs, and lower ourselves to the mat, and just lift up, stretching our core and stretching our lower back, just as much as comfortable for you to come up. And look up towards the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. Lower it back down. You're going to try and bring one heel up and towards your bum. So catch it with your hand and just pull in. If you want to make a bit more of a stretch, grab it with both hands. Again, just get as close to your bum as you can. Stretching the front, front of the leg here. Three, two, one. Let it go. Walk it over. And try and pull that as much into the bum as you can. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to come back up into that box position. So starting in our box position, we're going to bring one knee forward, turn in the toe just as much as you can to the opposite side. Then you're going to walk the back leg back or slide back if you're comfortable to do so. We're going to start up on the palms of the hands first. I'm just going to settle into this our pigeon stretch, so we go for our glutes. Right, if you can, come down onto the forearms if you feel comfortable to do so. And again, if you can, walk your hands out and drop your forehead to the mat. Again, only if it's comfortable for you to do so. Just relax into the stretch. Should be painful. So keep breathing. Okay, we're going to slowly walk it back up. So we're going to come on to the forearms first if you're not still there already. Then up onto the palms of the hands. And then you cup, your toe, lift up, bring your knee back, and we're back into our box position. So we're going to go with the other leg now. We're going to bring one knee forward, turn the toe as much as you can to the opposite side. We're going to walk that back leg back or slide it back, whichever is comfortable. And we're just going to set into the stretch first. So starting on the palms of the hands before we go anywhere. Then we're coming down onto the forearms if you feel comfortable to do so. What do you do if you do? And then again, we can walk the hands out and bring your forehead to the mat. So keep breathing the whole time you're doing this as well. If you are comfortable. Push it to the higher level, do if not, stay where you are. And slowly bring it back up. So come back up to the forearms. And from the forearms, we're coming up onto the palms of the hands. And then from there, up and lift back up into your box position. Okay. We're going to do one more with our upper body here. So we're going to grab, put our hand to our temple and we're going to rotate up as much as we can and come back around. 
So we'll take as much as we can and back. Exhale, lift up, inhale, lower. Four, three, two, and one. I'm going to swap to the other side. Again, four, two, up, four. Again, we're rotating as much as we can. Get a nice twist through the muscles around our spine, through our chest. Four, three, two, and one, and back around. Okay, from here, let's go up onto our knees, one leg forward, one leg back. We are going to just push forward into a stretch to where you feel is comfortable. Trying to get that knee over that toe, keep the foot flat though. Once we get a stretch in the front of the leg. Again, with this, as we move through it, we'll see if we can go a little bit further. If you can't, don't worry. You can go a little bit further forward. And again, you can go a little bit more forward too. If you can't, don't worry, stay where you are. Remember, we have to keep our front foot planted. If you are moving the knee over your toe, we don't want to be up on the toe, we want to be flat. From there, we're going to inhale, exhale, sit back onto our heel. You can point your toe towards the ceiling or keep it flat. Try to get a stretch into our hamstring. Okay, we're going to go back, inhale, exhale, back to our first stretch again. We're keeping ourselves up tall as we do this. Uh, once more, we're going to inhale, exhale, come back onto the hamstring. From there, let's come forward. We're going to pivot our leg back around behind us. Walk our foot out as far as we can. And just stretching again the inside of the leg. You can, you can turn your toe towards the ceiling if you want to intensify the stretch slightly. Otherwise, keep the foot flat. And we're trying to keep ourselves up tall, keep our core nice and tight, keep ourselves balanced. Three, two, one, turn it back, walk it in. We're going to bring it to the other side. So, other foot is coming forward, keeping our back leg back. And again, we're just stretching into that stretch as much as we can, keeping our upper body up tall. Try to push that if you can over the toe. If you can't, don't worry, just stay where you are. We just want to feel that stretch down the front of the hip. From there, inhale and exhale, sit back onto the heel. I'm going to bring it forward again. So inhale, exhale, just bring it as far forward as you can. Keeping your upper body up tall. Again, if you want to walk, push your knee a little bit more forward, do make sure that foot stays planted. See if you can open up the hips, swipe it more. Just feel that right down in front of the hip there. 
three, two, one. We're going to inhale, exhale, sit back again. This is stretching into the hamstring. Again, with these, you might find one side's easier than the other, one side's tighter than the other, that's all right. From there, I'm going to come back up, hit with that back leg, or that leg, back leg back, yeah, and walk out the other leg. And again, if you want, you can rotate your toe towards the ceiling. Three, two, one, back in, bring the knees back together and we're going to stand up and interlock the fingers behind the back, just taking our chest forward, keeping our head up. Lift them up as high as you can. Again, if you can go a little bit higher, push them up a little bit higher. If you can't, don't worry. And interlock the fingers, pull them forward, push the shoulder blades away, far, far from each other as much as we can. Okay, from there, we're going to turn around, push hands up towards the ceiling. And you know which one side. Bring it back to centre. Over to the other side. Back to centre. Let it go. And you're done guys, well done.